Now we've seen the use of the assignment operator to assign a value to a single identifier or name, but let's consider a couple other uses of the assignment operator, and one is in a construction known as cascaded assignment, and this will look pretty familiar with what you've done in math class, and another construct is known as simultaneous assignment. And this one will look a little strange at first, but it proves to be quite powerful and useful in a lot of applications. So as an example of cascaded assignment, what we do is we write L values or identifiers separated by the assignment operator. So how about X is equal to Y is equal to Z is equal to and the far right hand side is just some expression. So we could say maybe 21 times 3. So you might see something like this in math class and what we get here we would anticipate is that x, y, and z are assigned the value that resulted from that expression on the extreme right. So that should be 63 and let's check on that x, y, and z. We'll just put them in the interactive environment all on that same line separated by commas and sure enough we see that all of them are 63. So the cascaded assignment doesn't really do anything algorithmically special. It just allows us to write the code a bit more cleanly than we might otherwise. So instead of using that cascaded assignment we could have written for example c is equal to 21 times 3 and then y is equal to z and then x is equal to y. That's effectively breaking that cascaded assignment into three separate statements. So cascaded assignment is fairly straightforward. Now let's talk about simultaneous assignment and this one will look a little bit strange. We only use a single assignment operator but we could have multiple L values. So we need to have as many L values to the left of the assignment operator as we have expressions to the right of the assignment operator. And the L values are separated by commas and the expressions are separated by commas and we only have one assignment operator, one equal sign in the entire statement. Now remember when I say L values I'm just talking about an identifier or a variable name. Now let's give an example of simultaneous assignment. Let's maybe put X and Y, so two L values separated by commas. Those are equal to, now we need two expressions. How about one plus one and maybe 100 times 100 and hitting return that's a very strange looking statement but it's perfectly valid it's using simultaneous assignment the first thing on the left is assigned the first value that comes from the right the second on the left is assigned the second value from the right and if we have three four five of these it doesn't matter if we could put an arbitrary number. Now let's check on the values of x and y. So put them on a line, hit return, and we see that x is 2, which comes from 1 plus 1, and y is 10,000, 100 times 100. Having said that, you should never use simultaneous assignment this way. That code is just hard to read. It would be much better just to write if we wanted 1 plus 1 and to assign that to x, to have that as a statement on its own and then to write y is equal to 100 times 100. Okay, so what good is simultaneous assignment? Well, there are actually many situations where it comes in handy and let's say we wanted to exchange two variables. So again, let's just check x and y. They are 2 and 10,000. But how about if I wanted to get the value of y into x and the value of x into y? I could use simultaneous assignment to do that. I could say x and y, I want you to be equal to y and x. Once I hit return now, let's go and check the values of x and y. And now x is 10,000 and y is 2. 
Simultaneous assignment can be quite useful. Python provides this construct, but it actually doesn't exist in many other computer languages. So how could we swap these values if we didn't have simultaneous assignment? In other computer languages, we would have to use a temporary variable. Let's call it temp, and let's assign to it the current value of x. So that would be 10,000. And now what we could do is we could say x, we want you to have the value of y. So that would assign the value of 2 to x. And now y, we want you to have that value of x that we stored in the temporary value, the 10,000. So if we look at x and y now, we should see 2 and 10,000, and sure enough, we do. Rather than having this temporary variable and three statements, using simultaneous assignment, we can have a single statement and no temporary variable, and Python handles that switching for us.